What is up guys, it's Jace from Cyclist Training Partner. Welcome to another video. Today we're taking 22 mil tires off-road. We're starting right now. Now, whilst I agree that 22 millimeter tires are not the same as 32 millimeter tires off-road, you can still take it off-road and you're still gonna find your road bike very capable. So my top tips if you're taking your road bike off-road with normal road tires is to take things a little bit slower than you normally would. Be a little bit more compliant in your shoulders and your body and perhaps don't sit on the saddle quite as heavily and rather take a little bit more load in your legs and hover off the saddle a bit more. If you ride with a bit of this compliance you're going to get to experience a climb which is often going to be better than the on-road equivalent even if it is going up the same side of the hill. And I've certainly done a lot of this type of riding having done Hell of the North Cotswolds mountain bike events on a road bike. Now that bike was a Trek Domani. It did have 32C tires, but they were R3s and they were fully slick racing tires. The terrain was 50% off-road, which was actually pretty rough stuff. And the descents were really pretty serious, uh, not rock gardens, but they were pretty rocky gullies. And uh, yeah, you really wanted to be on a mountain bike for those. Came in second on the day. And it just went to prove that, you know, road bikes are totally capable. So if you are a little bit lighter on your stuff, don't try and jump too many rock steps or, or anything too crazy. Learning how to bunny hop is going to be really advantageous for you. Many things that are going to restrict you in this kind of riding is the steepness of the gradients and not having the correct ratios to actually be able to go up these steep hills on a road bike. And also the traction that the slick tire provides you. It's not enough to ride up a lot of the muddy hills and slopes. But if you don't mind walking and you're strong enough, you can have a whale of a time. You don't only see a lot of the world off-road on a road bike. Right then guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you've got anything else to add and we'll see you in the next one.